It's Chinese New Year's and this is Laura's Art Basement. And today I'm going to use my Chinese brush set that I haven't used before. <laughs> Because that's what this channel is about, about trying new things, having fun with art, and hopefully encouraging some other people to try new things and be creative. Now, I have a best friend who went to China, and she was lovely and brought me back a beautiful brush set. And when I got them, they looked like this. Now, people who use brushes know that when you buy brushes, they come with sizing on them, and that's to hold their point and make them look really pretty. So the first thing I do when I go into an art store and I pick up a brush is I take my thumb and I go and I break the sizing because that's the only way you can see the point of the brush. And you can see if it's flexible, and that's what I like. I like a brush that has a nice point and bounces back. And that's what I've been using for years. Now, this is what the brushes looked like when I got them. And then as soon as I put them in water and tried to use them, this is what they look like. This is very different than this. So I've been afraid to use them because I don't know what to do with that. So I finally got up my courage. I'm looking at some videos. I'm going to see what you're supposed to do with these. And I'm going to try an ink painting. Now, people who use these are very skilled. I am not. I am starting with a very simple painting. I'm just going to try some bamboo. That's what I'm going to try. Wish me luck. And every time I'm successful, I am going to have a fortune cookie. Because, you know, nothing says authentic like a fortune cookie. Okay, so it's not an almond cookie, but you know what? They're fun and they have little messages inside. So, so when I do well, I'm going to get a fortune cookie. The reward system. I've given up on the reward system and I've resorted to stress eating. This is hard, <laughs> like really hard. Um, it's just a completely different way of even holding the brush. So I was having no success and I don't want to tell you how many pieces of paper I have wasted. You can't hold it the way I normally hold a brush. And I watched a video and finally somebody said the way to hold it is two fingers up, two fingers on the other side. And I thought, what the heck is that? And then you put your thumb there. And then when you have ink on it and it's pointy, then you paint up and down like this. And I thought, that's crazy talk. And then I tried it. And it works. It works. It's great. It's really hard to change. It's really hard to try and change the way you hold a brush. And in the video, you will see, I will circle it in yellow. You will see every time I slip back into this and then it's not working so well. And then I have to go off and fix my grip again and start painting. And it's amazing to me all the different things that they can do with this brush. So I tried a couple and like even spreading out so it looks nasty. But then you can get these streaking techniques that I use at the end. But mostly I just try to remember to hold it the correct way. And you really have to concentrate on the pressure because they're so floppy. You really have to concentrate on the amount of pressure you put in to get the lines. And when it works, it's really cool. So it's definitely something I'm going to, I'm going to do again. I'm just not very good at it yet, but that's why I have cookies. 
I made a painting. It's not great, but it's a start. And I'm definitely going to do more of this painting. Not this painting, but this kind of painting. Happy New Year. Subscribe to be notified when a new art video is posted. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.